Well, what shall I, 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 I'm happy to just chat with you for right now. We're going to take a minute to process. Uh, I'd like to take a couple of minutes first. I have, uh, I have lived uh, my whole life in the city, and I love the city, and I've tried to be involved in it as many different ways as I can uh, throughout my adult life. And I think that uh, right now we're at a time when we need uh, to get the city working together, to get the city council working together, uh, to have one city, uh, to make it livable, to make it affordable, and to make it functional. And uh, I have said that I would think about this and make a decision in February, and here we are. It's February, and I'm here to make a decision to run for mayor of Toronto, and I'm happy with that. And so that's why I'm here. There's I'm a real divide Ford. between suburbs and downtown core. Rob Ford has the suburbs. How are you going to bridge that divide? I think there's a divide that has been stoked at various times by various people, but I don't think there's a divide when it comes to the people. I think the people know what they want. They want transit to get built. Uh, they want low taxes, especially property taxes. They want jobs and investment, and they want a government that works, that works with each other instead of against each other. So I don't think there's any divide there. And the challenge is for a candidate to come forward to say they're going to be mayor of all the city. They're going to be mayor that's going to focus on getting people to work together to get things done for people, and that's why I'm running. How, how are you going to keep property taxes low and do? How are you going to keep property taxes low and build subways? I will have a full financial plan uh, that will be, of course, uh, you know, put forward during the course of the campaign. It's a long campaign, but I assure you we'll have a full plan that will indicate to the answers to those questions because that's what we have to do. We have to build the transit, but we also have to keep taxes low and to make the city an affordable city. <coughs> and that also means getting jobs and investment to help keep the city growing. John, 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 wishy-washy. How do you combat that, combat that and how do you beat Rob Ford? Well, my challenge is to put forward a positive campaign about the future of the city and that's what I'm going to do. I have ideas on making the city livable, meaning getting on with the Young Street Relief Line, among other things, that's priority one. Getting jobs and investment, keeping taxes low. I'll talk about my positive ideas, how others uh, choose to run their campaigns. is entirely up to them. And uh, I'm pleased and proud uh, to be a Torontonian. I love the city. I think people don't question that. And I'm going to use the skills and experience I have to uh, to get things done and to prove that I'm okay. so John, How do you pay for the downtown relief fund? I'm, I'm just worried about it. running a positive campaign uh, for the future. And uh, all that sort of inside baseball is, is, is for pundits and others to, to uh, comment on. I'm going to run a positive campaign about ideas for the future and getting one strong city uh, that's uh, a good place for everybody. John, can you tell us how you would pay for the downtown relief line? Can you tell us how you would pay for the downtown relief line? Can you tell us how you would pay for the downtown relief line? Well, we're, we've decided on building a Scarborough subway. We've got to get on with that. But I'm saying let's build a Young Street relief line at the same time. Let's not do what we've done for years in this city, which is sit around and look at the one we're building now and say, isn't that great, and then wait 10 years to get on with the next one. I'm saying get on with it now. We need it now. People are like sardines in the subway and on the buses and trying to get around the city, and uh, that's about people that live in the suburbs and getting to and from work and so on. Let's get on with it. How, How would you pay, pay for it? it? How, How would you pay for it, Mr. Tory? Well, that's my license. I need that. Thank you very much. How do you pay for that relief really fund? That will all be revealed in due course. Sir, are you concerned about the fact that there aren't so many candidates on the right center? I think it's great that we have a democracy in which so many people are interested in running for public office, and I'm pleased to be one of us. But how do you win with the potential vote splitting? You win by convincing people you've got the best plan and that you can get it implemented, because that's key to this, is making the government work so you can actually get the best plan. And that's uh, what I think I've done. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. And so uh, what's going to happen now is... Uh,